All right, let's learn about Star Wars. From a Guide to the Star Wars Universe, second edition, by Bill Slavisic. Each entry starts with one of the following symbols. A solid Rebel Alliance symbol, or a clear Rebel Alliance symbol. The solid symbol indicates that the information that follows is drawn from an original Lucasfilm source. The films, the radio dramas, or the original novelizations. A clear Rebel Alliance symbol indicates the information is drawn from an officially licensed source that may or may not agree with George Lucas's vision of the Star Wars galaxy. Take note, this book was made in 1994, so any extended material is most likely creative, lore-friendly, interesting, compelling, thought out, made by people who care about the source material, and makes sense. No Disney bullshit here. The categories are as follows. Alien creatures, species, families, battles, wars, historical events, characters and characters' names, devices and things, droid names and types, food, medicines, chemicals, geology, plant life, places, worlds, customs, institutions, terminology, slang, colloquialisms, and other abstractions, vehicles and vessels, weaponry. Starfighter sublight speed comparison chart. B-wing starfighter, six sublight units per standard time part. Y-wing starfighter, seven sublight units. X-wing starfighter, eight sublight units. Millennium Falcon, eight sublight units. A-wing starfighter, 12 sublight units. TIE starfighter, 10 sublight units. TIE interceptor, 11 sublight units. The A-wing starfighter. The A-wing, a lightweight, wedge-shaped military starfighter, made its first appearance late in the galactic civil war on the side of the Rebel Alliance. Designed for high speed and maneuverability, the A-wing carries two wing-mounted, pivoting blaster cannons, a sophisticated targeting computer and sensor array, and light combat shields. Built for ship-to-ship -ship combat and to serve as escort craft for larger starships, it was the Alliance's answer to the Empire's newer TIE fighter models. Two extra-large real space power plants and low total mass make this the fastest combat starfighter in either arsenal, beating out even the TIE Interceptor for pure speed in normal space. The A-Wing was developed secretly during the early days of the Rebellion. It has excellent sensor and communications countermeasures, including a power jamming package to blind targets before it strikes. Since this starfighter was introduced, its mission profile has undergone some significant modifications. It has been determined, through trial and error, that the high-speed craft is better suited to hit-and-fade operations than to escort duty. Admiral Akbar. Admiral Akbar is a respected member of the Mon Calamari species, who serves as one of Mon Mothma's two senior Rebel Alliance advisors. He was one of the military tacticians who developed the plans for the Alliance's surprise attack on the second Death Star battle station. He prefers to lead important assaults personally, and was in command aboard his personal flagship during the Battle of Endor. His prime military specialty is in the area of Imperial Defense Procedures. Akbar made a study of Imperial tactics and defenses while serving as a slave to Grand Moff Tarkin. Rebel agents released him from servitude during a failed attempt to assassinate the Grand Moff. He used his newfound freedom to return to his homeworld, where he convinced his normally peaceful people to join the rebels, bringing a much-needed fleet of capital ships into the Alliance arsenal. Shortly after the Battle of Yavin, 
Akbar proposed a plan for dealing with Imperial escort frigates. He argued that a specially designed starfighter was the Alliance's best hope, at least until more funds became available or the number of rebel capital ships dramatically increased. With the aid of the Verpine, a renowned race of shipbuilders, Akbar developed the B-Wing Starfighter. Since the rise of the New Republic, Akbar has been named Commander-in-Chief of Republic Military Operations. He serves on the Provisional Council and the ruling Inner Council of the New Republic, helping to forge the new galactic government. With the help of Luke Skywalker and his companions, a recent Imperial plot was foiled and Akbar was proven innocent of charges of treason. Airspeeder Any type of airship designed to operate within a planet's atmosphere is called an airspeeder. The term is usually applied to repulsor lift vehicles that fly high above the ground. Alderaan The adopted homeworld of Leia Organa, Alderaan was once a shining star in the Old Republic. It spawned such heroes as Bail Organa, Leia's adopted father, who fought beside Obi-Wan Kenobi during the Clone Wars. The horrors of the Clone Wars convinced Alderaan to take a new stance once peace was restored. The planetary government instituted a philosophy of pacifism and banned all weapons from the planet. Due to tyrannical acts and unchallenged injustices of the Empire's new order, many young people, including Senator Leia Organa, began to question Alderaan's pacifistic policies. As the new order became more open in its tyranny, Alderaan became more supportive of the growing rebellion. Some even believe that the Alliance was born on this world. Before Alderaan could officially join the Alliance and rebuild its military might, the Empire destroyed the entire planet as a demonstration of the original Death Star's destructive capabilities. When Alderaan dismantled its massive war machine, its government decided to hide the weapons where no one would be able to find them. At the same time, the weapons would be readily available should the planet ever need to protect itself or its beliefs. The weapons were stored aboard a massive armory ship named Another Chance, which was then programmed to continually jump through hyperspace until the Council of Elders called it home. Sightings of the ghost ship in the asteroid ruins of Alderaan's orbit, called the Graveyard, have been attributed to this legendary vessel. All-Terrain Armored Transport AT-AT The four-legged combat vehicle called an All-Terrain Armored Transport, or Walker, serves as both a troop transport and an assault craft. It provides high-powered support to Imperial ground forces. An individual walker stands over 15 meters tall, has blaster impervious armor plating, and resembles a mechanical beast as it strides across the battlefield. The movable head contains the crew deck, with a pilot station, gunner station, and commanding officer slash combat coordination station. A walker's armament consists of heavy blaster cannons mounted on each side of the head and under the chin. When the Empire began to design its military war machine, it sought weapons to match the terror inspired by star destroyers and unending hordes of stormtroopers. The AT-AT, an unstoppable juggernaut of fear and fury, fit in well with the Imperial doctrine of rule and terror. A walker carries troops and light vehicles into combat areas, marching fearlessly through most defenses. The massive AT-AT kneels to unload its troops, lowering assault ramps from the rear portion of its armored body. All-Terrain Scout Transport ATST, Modeled after the larger AT-AT, the All-Terrain Scout Transport ATST, serves as a reconnaissance or defense vehicle. Lightweight and built for speed, the Chicken or Scout Walker runs on two metal legs. The two-man crew sits in a small armored command pod. With its maneuverability and quickness, a scout walker provides covering fire for ground troops or defends the flanks and undersides of the AT-ATs. The seven-meter-tall AT-ST has chin and side-mounted blaster cannons, a concussion grenade launcher, 
and feet claws for cutting through fixed defenses. Anakin Skywalker The father of Luke Skywalker and Leia Organa. Anakin Skywalker was a hero of the Clone Wars. He demonstrated an unusually high level of flying and fighting talent due to his innate ability to tap the Force. Later, as a student of the Jedi Knight Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin honed his use of the Force to near perfection. Unfortunately, the young knight was lured to the dark side by the Emperor and transformed into the evil Darth Vader. Anakin Solo Anakin Solo was the son of Han Solo and Leia Organa Solo. Like his mother, siblings, and Uncle Luke, Anakin is strong in the Force. He was born approximately six years after the Battle of Endor, during the events surrounding the rebirth of the Emperor. Anchorhead Anchorhead, a slow-paced, quiet, moisture-farming community, is located on the desert flats on the planet Tatooine. Luke Skywalker grew up on a farm outside Anchorhead, spending much of his free time in the sleepy town. The uniquely shaped B-Wing Starfighter adds four power plants and a command pod to a primary airfoil to create one of the most heavily armed starfighters in the Alliance arsenal. Two movable secondary airfoils form a cross midway between the command pod and the primary airfoil wingtip. These alter their position during flight. They extend fully to bring the starfighter's maximum concentration of firepower to bear and tuck into the primary airfoil when, it, when in cruise mode. The command pod employs a radical design using an automatic gyroscopically stabilized suspension system to keep the pod in a fixed position. The airfoil rotates around the stabilized pod, creating a flexible firing platform while the pilot experiences none of the effects of rapid spins, twists, or turns. The primary and secondary wing tips sport ion cannons, while the command pod features a mounted laser cannon. Other weapons include two internally mounted proton torpedo launchers and two small blaster cannons. These starfighters played a key role in the Alliance victory at the Battle of Endor. In response to the growing success of Imperial escort warships, Admiral Akbar conceived and headed the Shantipol project. With the aid of the Verpine colonies of Slain and Corpil, Akbar designed the B Wing. The ship combines speed with armor and armament, thus creating a formidable starfighter to aid the Rebel Alliance. Designed as a pure starfighter, the B-Wing originally had no hyperdrive capability. Hyperdrives were added to the design prior to the Battle of Endor. Bantha Banthas are large quadrupeds with long, thick fur and bright, inquisitive eyes. Long spiral horns grow in pairs from the heads of male banthas. On the planet Tatooine, Banthas are used as beasts of burden by the moisture farmers and as pack animals by the sand people. These large herbivores are extremely adaptable, able to live on a variety of worlds and in a wide range of climates. They can survive for weeks without food or water. Males grow as large as 3 meters at the shoulders, while female Banthas are slightly smaller. The domesticated Bantha can be found throughout the galaxy and wild bantha herds thunder across many worlds. Because of its widespread presence, the bantha's world of origin has been lost in the distant past. Almost every planet where the creatures exist claim to be the home world of the bantha. Banthas are used for many things, depending on which part of the galaxy they are found in. Herders raise the huge beasts for food and clothing. Some of the finest restaurants serve bantha steaks, and bantha skin boots and cloaks are popular among the upper classes. These magnificent creatures have even inspired a religion. Priests of the Dim Yu religion are devoted to the mystery of the bantha. These priests and their followers believe that a great message of universal importance has been hidden in the simple bantha, and that once the mystery is solved, an incredible age of peace and bounty will begin. Beggar's Canyon The valley on Tatooine called Beggar's Canyon 
served as the training ground for Luke Skywalker's aerial skills. Luke and his childhood friends raced skyhoppers and engaged in mock dogfights within its twisting confines. One of Luke's favorite pastimes was to fly his T-16 skyhopper at full throttle while hunting womp rats. Beedo. The Rodian named Beedo is a relative of the deceased bounty hunter Greedo. He took his kin's place in Jabba the Hutt's organization until Skywalker, Solo, and Organa took it down prior to the Battle of Endor. It is not known if Beedo survived. Bespin. Bespin, a gaseous planet in the star system of the same name, was the location of the Cloud City mining colony. Other planets in the Bespin system are Miser, a small, metal-rich world orbiting close to the sun, and Orin, a hostile world with a violent environment. The gas giant's many moons include the satellites called the Twins, H-Guard, and Drudana. The system is also home to a massive asteroid field known as Velser's Ring, which many theorize was once another gas giant. The asteroids are actually chunks of frozen gases and liquids, not metal or stone. Since the Empire established a presence on Bespin, a giant Imperial floating factory barge has been put in place. The barge factories collect raw materials from the Rethan Sea to produce more war machines. Bib Fortuna Bib Fortuna served as Jabba the Hutt's chief lieutenant and Major Damo, handling all of the day-to-day -day operations of Jabba's desert palace. His two skull appendages, called head tails, and which are common to his species, exhibit prehensile, sensual, and cognitive functions. Fortuna was a Twi'lek from the planet Ryloth. He left his world to seek opportunities in the larger galaxy eventually joining up with Jabba the Hutt and advancing to the top of the Crime Lord's court. Big Stark Lighter Big Stark Lighter was a childhood friend of Luke Skywalker. The two grew up together on Tatooine, dreaming of adventure beyond the endless dunes. Biggs finally found a way off Tatooine when he was accepted into the Academy. Upon graduation, Biggs received a post as first mate on the merchant ship Rand Ecliptic. However, his ambitions went beyond such mundane service. Biggs had fallen in with rebel sympathizers while at the Academy, and had made plans to defect to the Alliance at the first opportunity. Biggs was reunited with Luke Skywalker during the Battle of Yavin, where both piloted rebel X-Wings against the Empire's Death Star. Biggs lost his life during this battle. Boba Fett Boba Fett is an infamous bounty hunter whose exploits are known throughout the galaxy. He wears Mandalore battle armor, the same used by a group of evil warriors who were defeated by the Jedi Knights during the Clone Wars. But his connection to the Mandalore warriors remains a mystery. Fett's armor is full of nasty surprises. It is a weapons-covered spacesuit whose armaments include wrist lasers, a jetpack, rocket darts, a grappling lanyard, and a miniature flame projector. The bounty hunter has worked for whoever could pay his exorbitant rates, including Jabba the Hutt and the Empire. In fact, Fed accepted the same commission from both Jabba and Lord Darth Vader, agreeing to hunt down and capture Han Solo after the smuggler escaped from the Hoth system. Boba Fett succeeded in tracking Solo to Bespin's Cloud City, where Vader had the smuggler encased in carbonite. Then Fett had the frozen Solo placed aboard his ship, Slave One, for transport to Jabba's headquarters on Tatooine. During the resulting rescue carried out by Luke Skywalker, Fett was lost in the great pit of Carcoon and presumed to be a victim of the dreaded Sarlacc. Boba Fett escaped the great pit of Carcoon sometime during the intervening six years to show up on Nar Shadda, once again on Han Solo's trail. He claimed that the Sarlacc found him to be 
somewhat indigestible. His current contract is to the Huts, who want him to capture Solo and Princess Lei alive for what they did to Jabba. The Huts wish to watch the pair die. Captain Antilles. Captain Antilles commanded the Alderanian consular ship Tantiv IV. C-3PO claimed that he and R2-D2 belonged to the captain until the ship was captured by the Empire. In the novel version of Star Wars, this character was called Captain Colton. Carbon Freezing Chamber In Bespin's Cloud City, Tabana gas is stored in carbonite to preserve it during transportation to far-off trade centers. This preservation process is called freezing and is accomplished in a carbon freezing chamber. Gas is pumped into the chamber where it is mixed with molten carbonite. The mix is then flash frozen to cool the carbonite into a solid. The gas remains trapped within the carbonite block until released at the processing center or market. One of the chambers on Bespin was modified for use on a human so that Darth Vader could safely capture and transport Luke Skywalker back to the Emperor. Before Vader would allow it to be used on Skywalker, it was successfully tested on Han Solo. Uh, 